do a butt joint, really, is what it is. Butt. Butt being where something has a crack in it. No. Four degrees on Sunday, two degrees on Monday. It's good cold weather winter project. Everybody. welcome back to the channel if you're new here we've been spending the last uh, almost year renovating a 1968 Playmore model 140 so you'll want to go back and check those earlier videos and for those of you that don't stick around to the very end let me tell you right now go ahead and like and subscribe it really helps us out and uh, lets us know we're doing a good job this week I'm not outside I'm not in the camper I'm back in the basement back to the basement Okay, so we're back in the basement again. <sighs> well, here we are again. That's because, let me, let me just check the weather right now on my phone. Six degrees on Saturday for the high, four degrees on Sunday, two degrees on Monday, and it uh, looks like we're going to have snow. Uh, so, regardless, I'm not going to be outside working in the camper. Uh, what I am going to do inside is a pretty simple project. I'm going to build a couple of shelves, essentially like a couple that Catherine saw at Target and uh, of course being the sensible one she saw the shelves and said let's just buy these you know of course being who I am I said no 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 no. let's not spend thirty dollars on shelves that we can immediately put up let's let's go and get some wood out of the basement and I'll just go ahead and make these two incredibly simple very basic designs uh, and spend a bunch of time that I don't need to on them uh, in order to save $30. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But, there's an added twist. When Santa Claus visited me this year, he brought me one of these. Uh, I totally do not need to use this on this project, because these shells are so simple, but I am going to use it on this project, because I can. Okay, so let me demonstrate how you set up the Craig Jig. This back part here, has different markings on it for the thickness of wood that you're going to be drilling through. So you put that back in and you set it to whatever thickness you're doing. I'm doing half inch. Right about there. Tighten it back up. Yeah, let me make sure I'm doing this right. So, it's got three holes. Why does it have three holes? Well, if you're doing different widths of lumber, you can use whichever hole you need to have a repeatable distance between these holes. But since I'm doing this on a long span, it doesn't really matter what one I'm, I use. I'm just going to want to mark where my hole is going to be. So uh, let's say I want a hole here and I want a hole here. Slip it in the Craig jig, line up my little mark there with the A, uh, clamp it into place. The important thing that it comes with for drilling these is this little bit that has the little tiny tiny piece, the little thin piece, and the thicker piece, and this little stop. Comes with that, and a little Allen wrench, so you can loosen this up. So you can position this part wherever you need on there to make the whole, the depth that you need. And the way you know how where to position this is by these two little channels on either side of this. So you lay your bit in there, and you actually line up the fat part of the bit to the marking, not the tip of it. So I'm cutting through a half inch piece of wood. So I'm going to line it up there. Then you put your little stop on and just uh, tighten it down. Now this will go down and stop against that before it drills all the way through your piece of wood. And then they provide you with this little square headed driver. Super, super simple. So now I'm going to do it on the real thing.
a Craig jig to do a do a butt joint, really, is what it is. Butt being where something has a crack in it. No, butt joint being just where two things butt up against one another. So I'm going to let that dry and uh, make sure it's good and strong. And then I'm just going to do some wipe on poly on these and they should be ready to install if the weather cooperates. We were, I think, about 55 hours now of having temperatures below freezing. About 3 a.m. is the last time we were above 32 degrees. In fact, I don't think we're uh, forecast to go above 20 or 22 degrees over the next seven days. Got another project to work on. Uh, Catherine found a person online that had a little tutorial on how to make some shades for their windows. And they're really simple. Uh, we're going to make them out of canvas. So. We got this canvas drop cloth from Harbor Freight. Some little, little clasps, some little leather that we're going to cut into straps, some, some thread, and some D-wings. Really basic. Uh, shouldn't take any time at all. It's a good cold weather winter project. Anyway, let's get started. skeptical that that'll stay up there. There'll probably be just enough wind to blow it off into the snow and then I'll smear mud all over it when I put it back, but that's okay for now. Let's get to work. stoked on it it's you know a back for this which is nice you know it's also going to be the uh, this pulls out that's the back part of it so you're ready for night night that comes forward now it's time for some window shades shades. I'm really happy with this project. It uh, didn't really take too long. I think it looks really nice in here. It kind of goes with our other materials and 
patterns and whatnot, and um, and they work. I still have to, you know, kind of figure out this back window. I think maybe I'll do some uh, kind of slides, but I'll have to kind of experiment with that a little bit at first. Thanks for following along with us. Don't forget, new videos come out every Sunday, so make sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Oh, hey! One other quick thing, we're very, very close to a thousand subscribers. So, uh, in fact, I, I don't even know by the time this airs, we, we might be over a thousand subscribers. So if we are, thanks for getting us there, everybody. Man, I, I never thought when we started this that a thousand people would, would bother to follow along. Uh, but, you know, thanks. I, I hope these are entertaining and, and uh, at least a little bit informative for you. Yeah, I'm excited to keep making the videos. And I think it'll be nice, you know, years from now for Simon to be able to look back and see, uh, you know, all these things we were doing when he was a little bitty kid. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the future holds. So yeah, do like and subscribe, and um, new videos come out every Sunday, so we'll see you next week. Beepo, beepo.